Sonic and I were talking pre-match about both sides and the physicality that they're going to bring. Saracens, a brilliant result last week against Gloucester Hartfree. From your perspective, how big was that? I think it was massive for us to get get that win. Um, you know, we at the start, we were only just coming together, really, with all the new players coming up. Now we're together and it's really showing. We're showing it the Saracens way. And I'm excited for today because we're two big packs and uh, they both love the battle. Right on the money, an attacking line out for Saracens. And Sale oh, not competing at the mall. Looks like it's being collapsed, but it's still going. Marley Packer's there. Has she got it yes, down? Yes, Marley she Packer. has. Marley Packer keeping up that quite incredible try scoring record so far this season. And Sale didn't really compete there at all, but Saracen's driving more the, the best in the league this season statistically in terms of try scored and, and proving itself there. And there's Evans again. Started this attacking opportunity off. But a little bit of a fight on the floor, and McIntosh comes away with it. There's Kelsey Clifford, a meter out from the line now. Packer again. Oh, and has again, she got it down. Yes. yes, she has. Marley Packer keeps up that quite phenomenal try scoring record. 12 minutes on the clock, Saracens 10, Sale Sharks nil, and that was just wave after wave after wave of brutal, brutal carries. Marley Packer tried to take on an entire pack on her own there. And eventually Sale do break through, it's Packer in there again, thought she managed to get her hands on it, not quite, there's Duffy to Howard oh, Green. Oh, 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 oh. she do that all day, yeah. Inside ball yeah. to Green. the Sharks are in, great try there. score, great try there, as you said, Donna Rose, and they've been threatening to do that for the last yeah, 10 minutes or so, and Myri Grieve, as any good scrum half should, just tracking just on the inside of Katana Howard, and the Sharks right back in the hunt here. Jodie Resty then thinking about it. This is this has got to be a move. Yeah, this is up. Yeah, go on, Kels. Yeah, there you go, Kels is over. And we saw that against Worcester. We saw it against Gloucester. We've seen it again. The quick tap to Poppy Quill draws the defenders, pops it to Kelsey Clifford. And she is over again for her side, becoming a little bit of a try scorer machine here. here, here <laughs> I in the know she is. Yeah, she is. Kenzie's really standing up. She's she's a prop through and through. She was born a prop. <laughs> Brilliant line there, cut by Lossie Clapp. The penalty advantage coming after a second huge scrum in as many minutes from Saracens. And there's Wardle oh, to McKenna gets hands. it on brilliantly. And Jess Breach cuts oh. inside. Jess Breach is gone. Jess Breach is going. Jess Breach what a try. is through. What a try. Great hands by McKenna there. This is why she's an amazing 12. Just Breach getting the applause of her teammates there, but as you said quite rightly, Sarah McKenna getting applauded as well. The speed of ball, the speed of pass there from her was, that's what was most staggering about it before Just Breach then put on the afterburners. Hot potato. <laughs> and again, through Clifford, Duffy does well to take her to ground. There's relentless stuff though from Saracens and there's oh, Georgia gee. Evans just short of the line. Looked like she just had to keep the momentum going and she was there. But no, Saracens right on the line again. Infante to Cleal. And that time it is now. Georgia Evans was nearly there. Poppy Cleal is there. And Saracens starting to move away from Sale here. There goes Big, Kelsey Big, strong Clifford. carry there. Brilliant, strong carry. Yes. Cleal looking to strip it and go over herself. Has she managed to wiggle? Has she yes. managed to weave? Yes, she has. Down again. Saracens have six right on the stroke of half time, and it's Poppy Cleal with her second of the afternoon. I think we can make a, a decent assumption of what's going to happen here. 
And there we go. Saracens do look to set that maul again, of course. Saracens look to set that maul again. It's been such a weapon again this afternoon. And Jodie Good Retty work now. there by Grace to get low. She was fighting. To... <laughs> Grace Moore was fighting. Yeah, Jodie yeah, Retty yeah, was going. Try for Saracens. Jodie Retty in amongst the tries again. And as soon as that went into the hands of B McIntosh, you could see there was only one thought on yeah. the minds of that Saracens pack. Yeah. She's wearing advantage over. 19. That would explain it, but Saracens don't need to worry at the moment about who's wearing what numbers. They just need to worry about going through the gears and Jeff Breach is over for a second. Almost loses her footing as she goes over, but manages to keep herself up and Saracens back on the scoreboard again. 48 points to seven ahead and Jeff Breach flying at the moment and seeming right at home in that 15 jersey one of those players that has just been knocking on the door for so long may campbell great line by cara there and cara ward was broken free sarah mckenna we talk about oh off to jeff fantastic breach. fantastic is the word from donna rose and jeff breach has her hat trick that was fantastic firstly the break by cara wardle then the awareness from sarah mckenna and the speed at the end from Jess Breach. A really, really good all-round team try. It was up. She's a metre out now. And Virvas out the back. Williams has seen the crossfield chip. They're queuing up. Oh. Jess Breach oh, has her no. ball. Oh, no. People are going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> and Jess Breach is in again for her fourth of the afternoon. And Saracens are finishing with that final flourish. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I watched the backs, yes, but the forwards, I watched dearly, and it's, it's, I like the underdog and the, the, the work rate. And this will near enough be the final act of the game. Can Flo Williams finish with final flourish for her side? Oh. It clatters back off the crossbar. But that is full time here at Stonex Stadium. It's Saracens 62, Sale Sharks 7.